Hi, this is Super Mario Miss, back again to give you a little review. This time I'm gonna show you my favorite games to the Game Boy Advance SP. And I got a little selection of games here. I'm not picking all the games that I have in my collection, it will take forever. First up is the Sega Smash Pack. Let's see if I can get it clearer on the camera here. Sega Smash Pack contains Golden Axe. Echo the Dolphin and uh, Sonic Spinball. Three games in one. That's Sega Smash Pack. The next up is the Sega Arcade Gallery. This contains three games in one as well. Uh, let's see if I can get it clearer on the camera. I don't think I uh, will be there. Uh, this, is, this contains Outrun, Afterburner, and uh, Space Harrier and actually Super Hang On, which means it's four games in one in this cartridges. cartridge. Sega Arcade Gallery. This one is a little bit hard to get on the camera. R-Type 3. Shooting game, a little bit hard game. It's a little bit hard to see the bullets from the enemy in this game on the screen. But still, it is a good game and I can recommend this game a lot. This game is a little bit special. This is Puyo Pop. And Puyo Pop is uh, the original game. And uh, you might... Uh, the same game in Europe was released under Dr. Robotnik Mean Bean Machine. But it's a watering down version. Puyo Pop is much better and has much better music and graphic. So this is a Japanese version of the game. And I can recommend you to get this one instead of um, Mean Bean Machine. You like Donkey Kong, do you? Donkey Kong King of Swing. This is a fun game and I recommend it a lot. If you like Donkey Kong Country, you will like this as well. You will probably find out that this is much easier and better to play. It will get harder as uh, when you progress longer out in the game, yeah, it will. But this is easier to play than uh, Donkey Kong Country, or Super Donkey Kong as it's called in Japan. Other game I can recommend, Wario Land. This is Wario Land 4. Uh, I also got Wario Land 2 on Game Boy, that's another review later on. I'm also gonna make a review of my Game Boy games. And this next one here is a special one. This is called Hudson's Best Collection. This contains from volume 1 to 5, Adventure Island. Five different games in one. Adventure Island 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 in this one little tiny cartridge. That's great. And Adventure Island is a good game. Uh, uh, but uh, the first game in the series is pretty hard. The following uh, is easier to get through. I have uh, 1 and 2 on the 8-bit console as well. This is volume 1 to 5, called Hudson's Best Collection. Rayman, and this is presented by Rayman 3, the th third in the series. Good game. Uh, takes a little while to understand, but a great game. Disney game this time, Herbie Fully Loaded. Again a good game, a good racing game. Herbie Fully Loaded. Lilo and Stitch. This is the second in the series. Number two. Lilo and Stitch from Disney. I can recommend that game also. It's a good game. Next game up. This is Kirby Island. The same Kirby game that was given out on the 8-bit uh, console. With a little bit better graphic and music. But most of the game are the same. I have this on the 8-bit system as well, but I also wanted this in portable form, so I can take it on vacation and so on. This is the Japanese version, it doesn't matter, it has English, English text in the game, so this is good enough. Next up, Madagascar, also a dis not a Disney game, this is DreamWorks, by the way. Madagascar is a produce producer of DreamWorks, not Disney. This is given up by Bandai, by the way, the same company that gave out Wonderswan and games to that console. 
the, the Revenge of Shinobi. A little bit weird of uh, information uh, on top here, but uh, the Revenge of Shinobi, I like the Shinobi games, I have most of the Shinobi games for uh, the Sega Mega Drive as well. This one is then for Game Boy Advance, of course. Next up is a game from Japan as well. This is uh, Pokemon Pinball. Let's see if I can get it a little bit clearer here. Pokemon Pinball. In Europe, this came out on the Game Boy Color with a Rumble Pack. But the graphic on that one is not so good. This one is better. This is the one without the Rumble Pack. But it has better graphic and music, and I have actually managed to get to the last boss in this game, which is Fire Red, by the way. The big red din dinosaur looking creature. Well, that's Pokemon Pinball. Great game. Good entertainment. Two different ports on this game. And the next one I'm gonna show you. Crash Bandicoot and Spyro uh, Super Pack. This is volume 2, the second one in the series. I think this is the best one in the series as well. I think it's 5 or 6 different cartridges has been given up by this game. While with Crash Bandicoot and Spyro. This is volume 2. The last one is a pirate cartridge. I would say that. 110 games in one. As you can see here. We have Monster Incorporation, Castlevania is on uh, the menu here. Uh, I can't remember all the game on the top of my head. Uh, it has uh, a good bunch of uh, Game Boy Advance games, and it has some few games from the 8-bit Nintendo era as well. So um, you have an own list for Game Boy Advance games inside, and you have an own list you can choose 8-bit games from. One of the games that I like that are inside here from the 8-bit era is Tengen Tetris. I have Tengen Tetris on the 8-bit uh, uh, portable, now the console that you plug it on the television, the, the Nintendo 8-bit. And I am happy to have this uh, cartridge here so I can also play Tengen Tetris on the go if I like. Another Tetris game I can recommend on this cartridge is uh, Jewel Tetris. It's a better, better version of Columns. Columns is not so good, but this one uh, called uh, Jewel Tetris, I like it better. It's more fun and more bonuses and so on. That's just a little uh, review of some of the games. I have more games, but they are not so fun as the games I have showed you today. So this is just a review of the best games, my favorite games, to the Game Boy Advance SP. Thank you for watching and have a pleasant evening. Bye!